G'day ladies and gentlemen, Pirate here, and welcome to another Minecraft mod review. In this one I'm looking at the Trains and Zeppelins mod by Spitfire, Spitfire 446, uh, sorry, 4466, and also Detestable. And yeah, so this is the mod. Uh, hang on, just turn, oops, fly mode off. Okay, essentially, this is it. There's just basically a mod that incorporates trains into the uh, world. And I'll have a quick look at some of these, since these ones are already placed down. These ones are actually like freight container types of things. So this one's obviously classified as the tank, like a water tank. So, I mean, you could use it to, uh, you know, cart around if you had like water or lava or things like that. But, I mean, essentially, you can put whatever you want in it, but they just try to allocate different things. This one is the grain hopper, so if you had like, uh, well, seeds, uh, grains, and those sort, you know, all those sort of stuff, put into that one. This one, well, it's obviously wood transport. You can see it looks like a big chunk of wood. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Yeah, you, know, you just carry around a heap of wood. And this one is just the uh, just a freight car. Again, if you want to use just as a general all-purpose freight car, you could do that one. Okay, they're the uh, freight cars or freight carts, so I'll call them there. These ones are passenger carts, just different types. And since I'm looking at here, this is like a little uh, signal. <laughs> Pretty cool. You can actually activate that with redstone and have a connect to a button. So, it's kind of neat. But um, this one is a passenger car. I mean, they're all passenger cars, these ones. They're all very similar. Do the same sort of thing. You just right-click, and you get in it. So you have five, so you can see me sitting in it. Yay! <laughs> F5 and I'll uh, right click and just get out. Again, passenger car, just get in it with right click. Right click gets out. And they sort of clip into each other, but that doesn't matter. And this one here is also another, another passenger car. This one's actually called the caboose. It does have the little bit on top, but you can't actually see anything through it or anything, but meh, whatever. This looks pretty cool. And so yeah, that's there. Now, I'm going to be showing you these because the thing with these, obviously, there are trains which I'm going to show you. I'm holding one right now, actually. But um, they use different fuels. Now, these blocks here are, well, actually, I'll just bring up the inventory. So the yellow one is the oil sands, and the one underneath it is crude oil. Now, these actually uh, generate in the world, so you can actually mine them, but you by default, they're actually disabled. You actually need, there will be a text file when you install the mod. Um, yeah, which you then got to modify, change the setting from false to true, and then it should uh, generate, or randomly generate the world. And the oil sands, <coughs> which is the top one, uh, generates between 50 and 67 in the uh, press F3. You can see there in the Y. Axis, there you got 65, so it would generally you could find in this sort of an area, but anywhere between 50 and 67. And the, what well, they, they call it petrol, but it's the crude oil, which is the bottom one there, uh, generates between 20 and 41. So then, once you actually find that, you need to do something with it. So what you end up doing is you get the, either one, doesn't matter, but they both work. You've got to use the dis, um, distillation tower. And you put the oil sands or the crude oil in there. Oops. Okay. For some reason I think it bugs up. I don't know why. I think it's actually a bug there, but hey, 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 hey. Okay. I think my mouse just bugged up on me. What the hell happened then? But yeah. Anyway, what the hell happened then? It must be a weird bug with the. I think my mouse either stuffed up or not. But uh, yeah. Anyway, you put that into there, and uh, it should give you. Some diesel oil, as you can see just there. I'm not quite sure what they'll happen there. That must be weird. So I just deleted everything on me. Must be a bug with the uh, mod, I'd say, but no, well, doesn't matter. You can get diesel oil because you get these different uh, trains. Now, I'll show you this one. This is the GP40. Yeah, it does that. <laughs> Place them the wrong way around. You just move at it and it swaps it back onto the track. All you do is you right click to get into it, press the R key. And you see some cargo you put in there, and you use the uh, diesel oil, which you put in there. I'm not going to be doing this, I'm not going to. Actually, I'll bugger it, I will. You put that into there, just press the E key to get out of that, then you use the W key. 
or not. Hold down the W key. There, there you go. And you take off. And it'll come to a crashing halt. <laughs> so there. There you go. And I'll just cruise back up to here. This is another one that also uses diesel. I'm not going to bother showing you how it works. You've got a basic idea. Just spin it around. Again, you just jump into it with the, with the um, right mouse click. And yeah. Actually, I've got that pointing the wrong way, but <laughs> doesn't matter. But yeah, that's the uh, two diesel operator ones. Now, this is a super fast train. Now, this one actually uses redstone. So, again, you've got the right key, which is R. As you can see, there it's got like the lightning bolt. It uses electricity, so you use redstone. And I'll just break out of that. And another one that also uses electricity is the tram. That's what the tram looks like. Again, right click, uh, and you put that there, and you, and you can have some cargo as well. If you just wanted to send it on its merry way, <laughs> it's kind of cool. And that just essentially leaves just a few more, <coughs> which are these ones. That's the small locomotive. Now this one actually uses, I keep pressing the wrong button, these ones, or this one here, the steam locomotive and the big steam locomotive, all use coal to operate. So again, just press the R key, bring it up, and put the coal in it, and away you go. It's another little, another little steamer. It's pretty cool. And there's that one, if it places it properly. Kind of cool. Again, put the coal in there, and away you go. Very awesome. <laughs> this is a very cool one. Now, I'm leaving this bit till last because that's basically all the trains and the carriages and the freights. Oh, actually, I should point out to actually use them, as you can see, they don't actually connect. You actually have to put your freight or your carriages passenger carts, whatever, in front of the train, so the train then pushes them around, otherwise they don't, otherwise the train will leave the um, carriages behind, they don't actually connect, otherwise these got to be pushed. Now this one, you're probably thinking, what the hell's this thing? Well, this is a track builder, so yes, you don't have to build your own track, you just simply place it on the track, as you can see, and just right click on it, because you don't get in it at all. And apparently I don't have one, so I'm going to have to, unfortunately I have to bring up TMI for a sec. And try and find the, uh, where is it, no. Ah, I always lose it. I always lose the plot. Where the hell is, there it is. Get rid of that. Right click. Now you put an iron, iron ingot in there. And you put a chunk of coal in. And there you go. We'll just follow it to watch what it does. <laughs> I'm back in a second. Okay, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I got bloody uh, distracted. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, as you can see, this thing is uh, just cruising along, just building its own tunnel. I mean, how cool is the uh, trap maker? Bit of a uh, cheap way of actually getting some uh, train track. Now I'm actually going to let it just keep going because, as you can see, as it's going along, it's actually placing glowstone anyway, and it's obviously digging up all the other stuff here. But I just want to see how far one block of iron. This <laughs> Yeah, I just want to see how one, how far one block of iron and one piece of coal is actually going to go. And as you can see, it's actually going a reasonable distance. So, hmm, <laughs> this is actually pretty interesting. And it's going to go straight across water. Doesn't stop it. What's further you got to go? It's nearly out of.
Cool. Going through a cave system. So yeah, it should be nearly out of steam by now. Yeah, it's nearly run out. <laughs> Actually, that is insane how far this thing goes. Now, obviously it's becoming night time, so I'm actually going to... There we go, finally stopped. I'm just going to put... Uh, if I can spell it properly. Oh, fuck, still stuffed it up, bloody hell. I tell you, my spelling is really bad. Time, day, thank you. Okay, well that's where it got to. That was on one piece of iron and one bit of coal. Holy hell. Now, I'm just going to uh, actually enable fly, because I'm just going to go back to where we were. I'm not going to wrap this thing, you can just stay there in the middle of the water. So, oh, Now it's going to rain on me. Turn that crap off. But how cool is this though? How cool is the uh, train builder? Or track builder? That is insanely awesome. Let's come back to here. There we go. So there you go. That is what the train builder system does. So you don't need to worry about trying to craft your own train tracks. You just craft the um, track builder and bang, away it goes. And if you do actually, if it does go through an area that's lower in water, it will actually build like a glass container around the water and will continue on its merry way. It's absolutely brilliant. You saw it placing glowstone in the tunnels to light them all up. It's absolutely amazing. This mod is just freaking brilliant. Absolutely amazing mod. Now, I'm just cruising over here because obviously this is the Trains and Zeppelin mod. So, yes. Now, I'm going to cruise over here and as you can see, floating just there is a Zeppelin. So, let's go try it out. Now, I've nicely used it. I just quickly set this up and put it here. So I'll be interested to see how it goes. Okay, let's cruise up here. You gonna let me get in? No? What's going on there? See if I can move. You gotta right click it. Yeah, there you go. So it had stuff in my hand so it wasn't working. Yeah, so you just right click it with an empty nothing in your hand, obviously. Uh, let's press E. Oh, okay, so we got stuff there, so it's ready to go. Let's chuck a bit of coal in. And get rid of that. And it does have a few controls. It's Y goes up, um, X goes down, and C just flies around at its own current height. So you just press W to move forward, and you just use the A and D keys to move left and right. And as I said, Y moves up. Uh, X is down, but I assume S is stopping. We're coming down! <laughs> I don't really want to uh, just jump out here, because I'm going to probably... Uh, no, it's on peaceful anyway. It'll just do its own thing, so I'm just going to jump out. Got this thing just crashing to the ground here. <laughs> but that is pretty cool. Oh man, this mod is amazing. Oh, this is brilliant. This is a very, very brilliant mod. Um, so yeah, that's all the different trains, which obviously I haven't placed them down, but you've seen them before. you got your uh, all the different carriages, all the different things that can do different... Uh, well, set out to do different things, but they're all just basically transporters. You can cart people around, have like your big passenger train, different fuels you can craft, and Zeppelin, which is now crashed in the water. <laughs> and obviously the coolest part really is the track builder, which as you saw goes a fair way on one piece of coal and one piece of iron. So, oh man, that's awesome. That is freaking awesome. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, me done. You know, um, like, subscribe, leave comments, all that cool stuff. And you know, the link will be in my description, so you can go check it out. And yeah, as always, keep cool, keep safe, and I'll catch you around. Goodbye.